good. First of all, uh, I guess after your first game, what did you learn about yourself, where you are right now, and this offense? Uh, I think I realized we got a long way to go. You know, uh, we definitely did some good things, and we did some things that we, we, we want to take back. We left some yards and some points out there on the field. But for the first time coming out uh, and to get a dub is really a blessing, and we were just happy to have that. Uh, we got another opportunity to go out there and glorify God's name. I mean, you can't ask for more than that. So I guess we were happy with that. But we definitely got some stuff that we can fix and that we can go back to work this week and uh, just try to get better for it in order to prepare for Troy. How would you say the execution's been in practice these last couple of days? Uh, I think we uh, we still got a long way to go. You know, we still got stuff that we can fix. We still got plays that uh, everybody's not doing the right thing. We got, uh, including myself, we got plays that everybody is doing the right thing. It's just uh, a matter of consistency and uh, that laser focus that we're going to need if we want to uh, continue to progress through the season. Open it up to questions from our former Malik Willis. We use the raise hand option. Damien, I know you got a question. I'll just let you go first. Hey Malik, uh, you said Saturday night before watching the film, you thought the grade it was a C plus uh, for how you did against Campbell after watching the film. I know you said you had a lot of work on, but did that grade happen to change? No. <laughs> no, we still got a lot of work to do. I mean, just seeing uh, the amount of uh, ability and uh, the amount of just want to, uh, just want to. I just think we could do way better than what we put on tape. And uh, regardless if that's true or not, we have a lot of time to go and try to do it. So we just got to continue working every day and try to reach that goal. All right, next, let's go to John Manson from Sea of Red. Hey, Malik, as you know, obviously, uh, Chip Lindsey was uh, an offensive coordinator at Auburn. Uh, now, obviously, he's a head coach at Troy. Uh, what's your relationship with uh, with him, and uh, you know how well do you you know how much do you guys talk, or have you talked much in the last couple of years since you've been at Liberty? That was funny. He's like, as I know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was there. But uh, nah, Coach Lindsey, that's a real cool dude, real good dude. You know, that was my offensive coordinator my uh, freshman and sophomore year. So, yeah, I know him real well. Uh, you have any cool stories about uh, what it was like uh, being in the room with him? No, sir. I do not. This is a business meeting. I have to keep it business casual. No, nah, but definitely a good dude, you know. Uh, definitely a great dude. Uh, he taught me a lot about the game. and uh, I look forward to seeing him after the game. I don't want to see him before the game. Let's go next to Ed Lane from the Virginia Talk Radio Network. Malik, uh, first time for you as Liberty starting quarterback in what would be described as more of a traditional road atmosphere. Uh, give us an idea, if you would, of you know, where you guys are. Are you guys looking at you know, silent communication? Are you doing anything in practice to prepare for that? What steps have you all taken? Can you repeat that, please? I'm sorry. Yeah, for sure. Uh, first, for you, for you at Liberty, your first road game in a more traditional atmosphere with fans in the stands and a loud noise. What steps have you guys taken to try to make sure you guys have your communication offensively down where it needs to be? Well, we've just been preparing, you know, uh, every day to get better and try to make sure we're on the same page and whatever we're doing, whether that be uh, in the run game, pass game. Uh, I think we just got to focus on uh, sticking together and making sure that we're on the same page. Let's go next to Damian, then we'll go back to John. Malik, I know you didn't throw the touchdown pass to Javian there in the fourth quarter, but uh, you had to watch last year as he had to battle back from injuries to get on the field and you know to have his family in the stands yesterday or Saturday and to you know get that touchdown catch. What can you say about the work he's put in, uh, the rapport you built with him as he you know tries to be a contributor here on offense? Yeah, he put in a lot of work. That man, uh, he really impressed me this. Uh, last season and this off season, just how he just pushed through so much stuff and how he got the opportunity and he didn't miss it uh, Saturday and it just made me so happy because he told me his parents was there before the game and I was just so excited for him. I was on the sideline jumping up and down. If you watch the game again, you'll probably see me over there. 
But uh, I'm just so proud of him, you know. And I just can't wait to uh, see what, what else God got in store for him because he, he's definitely a soldier. John. Hey, Malik, what about this Troy defense? They obviously had a really good game last week and uh, four interceptions and only uh, gave up three points. What type of challenges do they present for you guys uh, this week? Uh, they're a really good team. They're a really good defense. Uh, they play really good against Southern. And, uh, we just got to focus on what we need to be focused on and try to worry about that at the end of the day. Uh, it comes down to what we uh, go out there and do. We just got to stick together and keep working hard every day and uh, focus on that, really. I think Coach mentioned the other day that they'll they'll change their fronts a little bit. They'll go to some four down, to some three down. They play a lot of quarters on defense. Uh, when you when you see that, I mean, you know, what is that? Uh, how can that affect uh, what you guys are trying to do offensively? Mm, I think they do what they do, and uh, we just gotta figure out how we want to uh, go about uh, what you say. Uh, go about our progression on offense and how we want to take that next step and where we want to attack and how we want to attack. And we just got to stick together on that and keep doing what we're doing at practice and work on that and just be consistent, you know? Malik, do you have any family in the military or first responders or anybody that was affected by 9-11? Or what recollections do you have, you know, studying about 9-11, I guess? I mean, I don't, I don't guess you were old enough to really remember it when it happened. Um. I got my granddad was in the military and my uh, grandma, but I don't really know if they were affected by that. Mm, I'm sorry, I don't have more information for you. No, no, that's that's fine. That's why we ask. We don't we don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go to Emily from uh, Flame Central. Like I know that you might not have a lot of people in the military, but I heard you're a pretty good Call of Duty player. Where would you rank yourself on the team? as far as who is the best Call of Duty player. Bro, I know J-Mac told y'all he was far like that. He not far like that, bro. I'm top three for sure, for sure, for sure. So you are, just to make it clear, you are a better Call of Duty player than him? Yes. He lied to okay. y'all. Are, are you the best on the team? Because I know you're pretty humble when it comes to football. No, I'm not the best uh, on the team, football, though. But, I mean. We have some really, really, really good individuals on this team. I'm not the best on the team, but I'm, I'm top tier for sure. Okay. Maybe we'll have to do like a little Flame Central segment tournament. Maybe after the, the season. In the near future. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Thanks. All right. Well, wait, last one for me. Um, how, how have you seen these, these guys around you, particularly on the offensive side, kind of flock to you as a leader? Um, is that something you try to do vocally or just by example? And, and in what ways have you seen them kind of come to you over the last year? I think I just try to be me at the end of the day and have a relationship with them that's more than football because we people at the end of the day. And I just want to see everybody winning, everybody doing good. So if I can do something that will help you improve, in, whether it's in life or whether it's on the football field, I'm going to do what I can to help you. You know, I'm going to do what I can to make sure you're growing as well as I am. Uh, I don't really do it for a pat on the back or you to come to me for your uh, problems or stuff. I just do it to help people because some people don't have anybody else to turn to when something's going on, you know. So I just try to be that uh, that shoulder to lean on, that open ear, you know, just try to help guys, especially on the football field. When you, when you, when you get chewed out by your coach, you don't want to get chewed out by another one of your players. You want to... Uh, just get a little feedback sometimes and just uh, know, what, know what you need to do in order to get better. So I try to play that role more or less than uh, go around like yelling at people. I mean, it's times for that, but not all the time. You just got to be uh, selective on when you choose to do certain things because at the end of the day, different people receive different uh, advice differently or different type of, you know, speaking differently. So just got to think about that. Last one, we'll wrap it up here with Emily. Malik, I saw that you um, went to go eat with some of the offensive linemen at County Smoke recently. How often do you think that you – and it, do you go out of your way, you know, hang out with these guys and, and make sure that you guys are building chemistry off the field? I mean, I feel like whenever we can, really. I mean, I feel like this team is a really tight-knit team, and we kind of, like, chill with each other all the time, really. I mean – 
especially, I mean, we eat together. We do really do everything together. And then the only time you don't see each other is when you get to go home and lay down and relax. But I feel like we do everything together anyway, and we're always on, like, hanging with our, outside the field, whether it be in the training room, the training table, the locker room, might just be kicking it, you know? Yeah, last one for me, sorry. Um, when J-Mac was saying what's the biggest difference of you this year, he mentioned your physical stature. How much weight have you gained, and is that um, something that you did this off season on your own or more for Dom's program that he had for you? I gained 10 pounds. 225. <laughs> uh, but, uh, nah, it was just a uh, – a boost from me getting stronger, I feel like, uh, working with Coach Dom. I mean, it was never like a, oh, you need to gain this, you need to gain that. But it kind of just came on, like, uh, smoothly with muscle, really. Because I don't think I got any slower, so I feel like that's a good thing. So, uh, Coach Dom was just like, uh, I mean, it's not a bad thing, and it's not a thing that we were trying to do. But since we got it, that's definitely a good thing, helping you uh, sustain uh, my body through uh, running the football, just different stuff like that, just protection-wise.